Now uh, we have studied about uh, numbers. The, uh, the time is for us to learn about strings, the second most important part of um, Python and variable numbers also. Okay, so what are the strings? Strings in programming are basically letters, words, sentences, etc. Wrapped in single or double quotation marks. Okay, single and or uh, sorry, and not and single or double quotation marks. Okay, I will just write in double quotation marks strings. Okay. And if write in single quotation mark string, I will get the same results. So you can write in both single quotation marks or double quotation marks. Okay. Um, sometimes you will hear strings being referred to as string literals. Okay. So what is literal? A literal is a value written exactly as it's meant to be interpreted. So as you have seen, we have write a string. It is interpreted as same as we have write it. Okay, it, it did not do any change in it. Okay, so a literal can be a number, a character, or a string. Um, it can also be a number. Um, it can. Right? Okay. So this is not a hard and fast rule that a uh, string is to be a number. Uh, sorry, string is to be a letter or a word. So. First of all, we have a print function. Okay, first of all, we have a print function. The print function is used to print something to the screen. Okay, something to the screen. Right now, you have working in the interactive shell, so it is not very useful. When we start using scripts, it will make more sense. Okay, for we are not, right now we are working in ideally, so it is not we have not seen anything in particular. Um, but when we write a full script, then the print function will be helpful to us. So it is only makes sense we have just uh, mentioned it. We have also a print function. Right now you have seen that if we had uh, I have write strings, it is printed on the string uh, screen. So maybe you are wondering why then we are using print function. So this is the purpose. When we write a script, we will use the print function to print our output on the screen. Okay. So, but for now, we will just practice on the shell and we will dig into the scripts later. So, I will write print. So, after that, we have to use parentheses. And in several, uh, single or double quotation mark, you can uh, write the anything you want to print on the screen. Okay, let's do the double quotation marks. Okay, you have seen this. And it doesn't matter if we have used multiple single or double quotation marks, but it also match exactly. If we have if I have put three double quotation marks. First, then I have to use exactly three double quotation marks at the end. Okay. Results are the same. It doesn't affect our the uh, our output. Okay, if I have to go on to the multiple lines, I can also do that. Um, this this is a sentence. Okay, uh, so sorry, 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 sorry. I have to do the enter shift plus enter to go on to the. Okay, sorry, um, <laughs> sorry, uh, we have to basically uh, use not use the enter as we usually do in our Word documents and other documents to go on to the new line. We have to just put control plus G to go on to the next line. This is a sentence which. multi one and we also use have to use this here this here this here and this here and the closing parenthesis never forget the closing parenthesis 
Okay, so it spawns the molten mines, and as we have forget, okay, as we have forgot to enter <laughs> spaces between them, so this is why the output is like this. So hopefully now you understand the difference between the three types of codes and um, then to use which, right? If anything, you are probably com confused so what's the deal how do you know when to use single versus double or tri versus triple code well when you want to spawn multiple lines and print exactly how you typed it this is the best to use triple uh, codes yes we have to use triple codes but we have to use the single code uh, yeah that's uh, that was our problem you can also use triple codes when writing comments in your code so what are the comments we will uh, dig into uh, it later but for most of your programming use either single or double quotes so most of the time we will use single or double quotes but when we need output spanning over uh, multiple line we will use that triple quotes let's just do it i was just uh, wanted to show how um if we have used a single quote it does not work basically we have gone on to the next line but it does not simply work into um, the way we want it to be worked okay it is again we have put the it into the multiple lines but it gives us the result into the single line now if we use triple quotes it will give us on multiple lines then ends control g And we got the new line, and simply we have to click the tab. Press the enter and multiple lines. Now we have to close it with triple quotations mark and after that we have to put up as you can see our output is spawned over multiple lines so this is the correct way so you can see here we have uh, put the um, output on multiple lines in here but we got the result on the same line the same we have done here but with the triple quotation marks and we have got this here all right so now it makes sense right okay uh, one thing to remember when we start a sentence with double quotation mark we have to complete it with double quotation mark if we if you have done like this if you have started with double quotation mark and ending with single quotation mark it will simply not gonna work okay so next printing multiple values okay if we want to multi uh, Print multiple values with a single print statement we can also do that with a single line using print function separating values with commas each value is printed with a space as a separator which is default behavior of print function let's take into it print see i have not given any space but in the output we will get a space see this is the default behavior of um, print. We can also print the integers. So I am, and we have to use a integer there like this, and then here's code. Yes, of course, we can use 10 in the quotation marks, but I am just going to show you that the, uh, this also works. Okay, so we have got the result. Similarly, we can get multiple integer values 4, 5, 6, like this. Okay, so now next thing is uh, nesting codes. Sometimes you will want to display codes inside strings. For example, in order to print hello, I'm cool, you would do this. Okay, um, let me show you. Hello. Now, um, now I am going to use a 
single quote as we use in English. So let's see what it gives us. The hello, I'm cool. So this is uh, <laughs> this was not correct. If I have to like a different way with same single quotes, okay, it will give us error. Hello, I now it will just say that we have closed the sub uh, single quotation marks. Not giving us the green color because it is simply thinking that the um, sentence sentence is simply closed in here. Okay, so yes, we have got our invalid syntax. Okay, um, for this to work out, we will gonna show you another example where it will work just fine. Okay. Out loud. No. Help. So, and then vanished. This will work. Okay, because we have used that different type of quotations as we have done in here. We have used single uh, quotation in between, but we are using the double quotation mark outside. So that's what. But if we are using single quotations and using the single quotations in between, it will just give us syntax error because it is thinking the sentence is just completed it here. Okay, we are just closing the single quotation marks. But we have started the sentence with single quotation mark, and if we need the double quotation marks, we can use that double quotation marks in between and then finish the sentence off with single quotation marks. Okay, so I've just you can see it is not giving us error now okay next we have escape sequences escape sequences so escape sequences are basically you know, to put special characters into your strings they um, basically give you greater flexibility over the text you display we will go over some of the most common escape sequences that are made up of two characters a backslash followed by another character um fulfilling the different purposes escape sequence has a special meaning in python for example if we use the escape and then this okay uh, tells python to ignore the single quote when looking for uh, the end of the string let's just try it we will just try the sentence i am going just simply copy the sentence which has given us error before but it will not give us now as i will use this see now it will not give us error okay so the escape sequence just saved our time and our error okay so let's just try some others so Let's, if we want to get tabs, we want to get tab spaces, we will use slash backslash escape sequence T and T again T. So we got three tabs in here, and then we will write Michael, sorry, Mitchell Jordan. So you see, we have got three tabs in here. We can also get the tabs in between the sentence. This, sorry. This is backslash t, backslash t, backslash t, three tabs. Okay, so as you can see, we have got the three tabs basically, and we got the result also. Similarly, we can get a new line escape sequence by putting this is new line now we are on new line okay so backslash and we'll do the trick here okay so this is how uh, we can go on to the new line So similarly, we can use the double quotation marks. This is double. This will not do the it 
it will not tell the python that this is the ending of sentence oh, my sentences are not making any sense but you can see the double escapes are now in double quotation marks because we just escape sequence along with double quotation marks to tell it this is not the ending of the sentence it is just our double quotation and we want to print it into the our uh, string all right okay so next we have some string operators okay so some strings operators the plus operators uh, add two or more strings together adding strings in computer program programming is known as concatenating okay so if we are adding two strings we will call it concatenate let's concatenate some strings in um, when we use plus sign with integers it will just add two numbers when we use the plus sign with two strings it will just concatenate two strings like this sorry see it has just concatenated two strings see um, now we have just concatenated three strings <laughs> so uh, this is how the concatenation works we can just to uh, concatenate as many strings as we want okay so this is not just bound to two or three or four it just can do the unlimited concatenation in one print statement okay okay if we use the static operator okay when we use the static operator with numbers let's just multiply two numbers now let's just do that with strings mm, multiply by two. let's see what steps. <laughs> so if we multiply a string with a number it will give uh, us the string repetition okay unless we have just um, used hello and multiply it with three it is giving us hello three times and let's just do another trick hello and space <laughs> so we can get the space as well okay um let's just do another cool thing and it is a concatenate mm. sorry this is o and it will multiply by 20 and then we again concatenate it okay so we have just kept this we need just do not need to write oh 20 times we just multiply it with 20 and it will do the trick for us <laughs> all right i hope you are enjoying this okay if we have uh, to slice our string okay you will have to slice the string now we will use another thing to slice hello i just want to take edge out of the hello for this i will write zero because um basically strings are a sequence of indexes character indexes okay so the first index is zero then one then two then three and then four okay so when we do write the zero we will get the first number okay if i will write four i will get the o because it is on the fourth index all right and if i write this as o and then i will write 5 it will give us the in, um, fifth index number uh, string so 0 1 2 3 space is also our index okay so it is on 4 and then 5 we will get i okay so we got the i in here similarly if i use the same and i will write here six i will have caught s and if i write seven because on seven we have a space we get the space see so this is how the we can slice the string okay if we uh, want to not slice a um, character we want to slice a range for this we will do something like hello and we have to give the range 
okay, we have to give the range with the colon. So it will start with zero and end on two. So on zero we have get h, on one we have get l, and on two we have get l. Okay. So but it will start with zero and go up to one because before the two it will slice for us. And I have to close it with this. Okay. So we will get sliced two numbers. If I write the same with so I hope uh, you have understand this now. Okay, so I hope you have understand it. So now we have some built-in string methods. Uh, we will just dig into it. And uh, we in the last lesson we have studied about some Python strings. Now we will just see the built-in string methods. So first of all we have strip. So removes white spaces at the beginning and end of a string. If we have some white spaces, it will just remove it. I will just write spaces, hello spaces. It will um if I just enter it, it is giving me the white spaces as well. But now if I do this. And then I write strip. I'm using that strip function. Now you will see it is giving me hello. And remember it, it will just remove the spaces from the beginning and end of the string. It will not remove the spaces between the strings. Let's just see the example hello. We have a white space between hello and word. It will not remove it. See, it is not removed. So the strip function will remove the uh, white spaces from beginning and end of the string. Okay, so next one is length. If we want to know the length of the string, we can use len function. So its length is 5. So it is giving us the 5. And if we want to convert our um, um, uppercase letters to lowercase, we can use the lower function. Okay, so it will be converted into the lower letter. See, I have just used three characters in uppercase, and then three, uh, two are in lowercase. It is given all in the lowercase. Similarly, we can do the uppercase. It is converted all in the uppercase. <coughs> Next, we have a replace function. Uh, when we use it, it will replace some string with another string, which we will give. Um, see here, hello dot replace, and then we have to give the replacement. The old one is age, and the new one is m. Sorry, m. It will replace h with m. Mellow, <laughs> so you get mellow instead of hello. Okay, so we can um, move in or uh, re uh, replace another one as well. Let's just we will replace L if we got multiple L, it will all replaced. Okay, it will not just replace one, it will replace all of L. Okay, you see, hello, we got hello instead of hello. So these are some uh, strings, built-in functions we have looked at. Um, I hope you have understand it. Sometimes we need these type of functions for our um, per, for our different programs. So yes, Python provides us some built-in functions for string, and we can also make some others with using these ones. All right. I hope you understand this. Uh, we will dig into the variables and different data types into the next lesson. Uh, stay with me.